What is something that can give you so much strength and energy throughout the whole day? Besides caffeine and a good night's sleep, there's a specific dhikr, let me explain. One time Fatima was complaining to her husband Ali, may Allah be pleased by both of them, about the amount of work in the house and how her hands were becoming dry and how it's becoming very exhausting. It came to their attention that the Prophet ﷺ has some prisoners of war, which at that time, some of these prisoners can be used to serve and assist in some households. So Fatima radiallahu anha, she goes to her father's house, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, knocks on the door, and who opens the door? Aisha radiallahu anha. So Fatima, she asks Aisha, is the Prophet Muhammad here? Is my father here? Then she says he is not at home. However, Fatima told Aisha of her intention and why she is here. She's basically looking for a servant that her father can pass on to her to help her with the housework. Eventually, Fatima goes back home and who comes back maybe later at night? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Aisha tells him, Ya Rasulullah, basically your daughter came over, she looked for you and she wanted one, two and three. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam being the great father he was, he did not wait till the next day. Rather, that same night he left his house and went to the house of Ali radiallahu an. And when he went inside the house, Ali and Fatima attempted to get up and greet the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he told them, stay at your position. And the Prophet sat between them sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah allow you and I to sit next to the Prophet in Jannah, Ya Rab. So the Prophet sat so close to them that Ali said, I felt the Prophet's feet touching my skin. Allahu Akbar. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told them the following. He said, should I tell you, should I guide you to something that is better than what you're looking for of a servant assisting you? He said, whenever you go to sleep at nighttime, make sure you say the following. Number one, say Subhanallah 33 times. Allah is free from any imperfection. Allah is away from any negative attribute given to him. Subhanallah, how many? 33 times. Then he said, say Alhamdulillah 33 times. All praise is due to Allah. Alhamdulillah, Allah is the best. Allah is the greatest. How many times? 33. Then, he said, say Allahu Akbar 34 times. Say Allah is greater than everything and anything. Don't, don't just leave the video just yet. There's an important point coming up. He says, say Allahu Akbar 34. Alhamdulillah 33. Subhanallah 33. If you say that, it is better for you than having a servant serve you. Allahu Akbar. Some of the scholars have mentioned this means that Allah will boost you with an energy as if you have a helping hand assisting you. Another meaning is that you will not feel as exhausted when you do the general tasks that you usually get exhausted towards any other day. So may Allah bless you and I and make sure you make a commitment to say this dua. Feel free to comment below and say, Insha'Allah, I will say this dhikr every night before I sleep, Insha'Allah. Wassalamu alaikum.